let's continue refactoring our application and let's adapt it even more to the um, Sprinkle architecture. So right now in the calendar screen, we have this counter, which is being managed through an ugly provider. So let's remove that and let's see how we could adapt this piece of code, even though it's not related to calendar, to uh, the Sprinkle architecture. So the first thing would be to remove the ugly provider. So I will unwrap the app like so. And now we need uh, the first thing we need is a, is a manager, a, man a manager that would be managing, in our case, counter. So let's go ahead and create a new manager and let's call it counter manager. Like so. This manager will be managing a counter, obviously. So this will be a sync. Uh, so it's behavior subject counter int so we need um, the initial value so there is a constructor for that a zero so we have our our sync and now let's create the the stream so this will be a stream of integers so it will be counter and counter stream like that. This would be a function, of course. So there is this convention in the um, reactive programming community that comes from a framework called CycleJS that streams will, be, will have the dollar sign appended at the end. So this way it's just a convention a soft con convention, which means that you don't have to use it, but it's just easier to see which variables in this class are streams or observables in, in case of JavaScript. And, um, and I will use this, this convention in this code here. So we have the counter, we have the sync, and now we need the methods to increment and decrement this um, this counter. So let's go ahead and create that. So the first one will be increment. And this will be simply taking the counter and adding the new value. So for convenience, let me create an internal, a private uh, method called current, a getter, where which will be used to access the, the current value of this, uh, of this stream, of this behavior subject. And now, if the increment is executed, invoked, I will just take the current value and increment it. And the same goes for decrement, but in this case we will de decrement the, the current value. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And as you can see, these two lines are internal. So this is the, the sync, which uh, is operated through some public methods we exposed uh, in this class and, um, and, the, and the stream itself. So we have three elements. Contact manager, uh, counter manager exposes three elements, the stream and two methods to interact with the sync so that it's connected with the with the stream afterwards so once we add something to the sync because we are um, getting a stream from this sync the stream is, is being updated so now we have the counter manager and as you remember in the sprinkle architecture we have overseer which is this person that manages all 
managers. So let's go ahead and register this new manager. So it's a counter manager. Like that. That looks good. So we are registering the, the manager. And now let's go to the calendar screen. We can remove the ugly provider. So let's start with the body. So here we will uh, access our manager, a manager that manages the counter through our provider. So uh, context like that and fetch counter manager. So we are fetching the manager, the counter manager from the overseer and we have the manager here. So now we can take this, the lowest possible widget, like the leaf or in this case it's a leaf, but uh, the lowest possible widget that needs this change and let's wrap it with a stream builder. So this is a stream builder that will consume a stream of integers and this is the counter stream like that and here snap shot like that so now let's go ahead and see if it doesn't work because there is the uh, fab button so let's fix that so for now, let's just pass an empty handler. Okay, so we have the zero. Nothing really happens here. So it's the same story. Let's remove that as with the counter. So we need to access this new manager in the build method. We need to add all the dependencies. So the manager, the provider, and now as you remember, this manager, it not only exposes the stream, <coughs> but it also exposes the methods to interact with this stream. We can now say manager increment without the parentheses and, um, and this should work. And it works indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead and just remove this class because we no longer need it and let's see the problems so here let me quickly remove that uh, so here i believe i need to import async okay Oops. here And here we no longer need the overseer. Before we go, in the stream builder, we can also provide the initial data. So I'm not sure about the internals in Flutter, but I think there may be a situation where this view will be ready and displayed and the stream won't be yet available. So I think it's a good idea to pass it, but I'm not sure about this. So. Feel free to uh, correct me on this, but I will pass the, the initial value zero, despite uh, despite the fact that I'm also initializing it here, just in case. And the next thing, the, the final thing here, let's refactor contact manager in a similar way as we uh, did with the um, this new uh, counter manager. So first thing will be to rename slightly things. So instead of using contact count, I will say just uh, count because it's contact manager. So it's uh, obvious it's about the contacts. And those two methods can be simplified. So we don't need this. We can just use this. And as a convention, I will use browse as well, but as a stream. And this is an optional parameter. 
So I can use it either to fetch all results or, or if the filter is passed as, a, as an argument, then it will just uh, filter the, the results. So it's this way it's, it's simpler. And here we just need to use the stream like that. So again, this is the part that is being exposed as a public. And this is internal. So the sync, uh, I'm sorry, those two are exposed. Count stream and browse stream. And the sync is internal. So now let's see the errors. So let's go here. So we have count. Let's go here and we have browse. And let's go here. And we have just browse without any parameters. Does it work? It looks. It works. Okay, so that's all for today. See you next time.